morning you guys from our front porch it is 8 30 in the morning we've been up for like an hour and a half but we're just now getting the day going dolly didn't really feel good this morning so she like had to go to the bathroom like i think three times this morning already she woke us up at like 5 45 and wanted to go outside and she never wakes us up that early normally she wakes us up at like 6 20 to go outside and so we knew she must not feel good and Adam took her out and then brought her back upstairs and then she couldn't get comfortable because we've been kind of spoiling her lately and we've been letting her up in the bed after we take her out for the first time in the mornings to um, use the bathroom we just let her up in the bed and she normally she just lays down and she knocks right back out to sleep because she's like me she likes to sleep <laughs> but this morning she just couldn't get comfortable and she kept sitting up and looking at the door and so Adam took her out again and she went to the bathroom again and so I think her stomach was a little upset this morning but she seems to be doing okay right now so I think it's just from if you guys saw from the last video she had her sister over and I think she just ran around so much and all that stuff that she just her stomach was just kind of upset but she seems to be doing okay now adam left a while ago to go to work and i am i'm not sitting on the front porch because everything's soaking wet because it stormed last night which is another reason why i think dolly's stomach might have been upset is because she gets really nervous in storms and it was like pouring down rain at like and lightning and thundering at midnight last night so I think that didn't help, but everything is soaking wet, so I can't sit on the porch, but I'm fine just standing here. It's nice. It's one of those nice, cool summer mornings, and I'm just going to sit here and drink my coffee. I'm a little nervous because later today, I'm going to go get my hair trimmed. I'll tell you guys about it in a little bit. I don't want to think about it right now, <laughs> but yes, I'm going to go get my hair trimmed today. And I have to run by Walmart in just a little bit. Once Dolly goes to the bathroom after I finish my coffee, I gotta go to Walmart and get some birthday presents for my friends because they're having a birthday dinner tonight. Um, unfortunately, one of the friends can't go, but I'm still gonna get her a gift today and go on and have it. And hopefully, I can go to lunch with her one day next week or this weekend and get her her present. But that's the plan for right now. Um, I'm gonna finish drinking my coffee and I'll check in with you guys in a little bit okay guys it is a while later i've been to walmart and came back wrapped all the presents and by wrapped i mean put it in a bag <laughs> and i have straightened my hair because like i told you guys i am getting my hair trimmed so this is how long it is and it i feel like it just grows like a foot every time i straighten it but this is how long it is it's not gonna really look that different once I get it trimmed, hopefully, fingers crossed, but my hair isn't going to look that different after I get it trimmed because hopefully it's only a little bit. I know I have a lot of dead ends, so hopefully it's only a little bit. For those of you who don't know, a year and a half ago, so December of 2019, I have a whole YouTube video on it, so I'll link that up here, I think it is, but I went to this place and... A girl I wanted it like just just above my shoulder maybe a little bit lower and she ended up cutting it up to let's see it was above my chin so it was like right here so a big difference from where I wanted it and it, it turned out she was new which that's one of my things I wish they would tell you if you were new because you know if I, if you're just gonna trim my hair and you're new totally fine but if you're cutting it short I might would have rethought that anyways <laughs> I'm a little nervous getting my hair cut by somebody new because last time I did it by somebody new that happened but I've done my research and I've asked some friends and I've had multiple people say that they go to this person and it's just a trim so it's going to be totally fine or at least that's what I keep telling myself. This person's not new, they've been doing it for a while so hopefully everything goes well. I am sitting in our bedroom and it's the reason why is because I was in there straightening my hair and this perfect sweet little angel came up here and laid on the bed and she just looked so comfy mm. and I know I know if I go downstairs she's going to want to come downstairs with me but she's so comfortable up here because it's storming and she's she's just really nervous downstairs 
I don't know what the difference is up here. I don't know. I guess it's because she's on the bed and it's huge and she feels okay. But I just couldn't stand like making her get up and go downstairs. I know that sounds ridiculous. So I just, I'm sitting up here. My phone needed to charge anyways. So I'm just sitting up here. I'm going to look up my phone, watch some TikTok while she just lays here until it's time to go get my hair trimmed. I only have about an hour or so left before it gets trimmed and I will catch up with you guys actually for you a few seconds and we'll see what my hair looks like then. And here is the finished result. Like any haircut, it looks really blunt right now. Girls, you know, when, once you first get your hair cut, it looks kind of, I can't think of any other word but blunt until you like wash it on your own. But it feels so much better. It looks so much thicker. And my hair is actually like, not super thick, but like decently thick. But you can't really tell when my hair gets long and stringy like it was in the last clip. So I'm trying to show you like, difference i mean i think she might have cut off like maybe that much it doesn't really look that different to me it's still pretty long i know some people get frustrated if you go in for a trim and then they're like they cut two inches off i don't i don't really care i mean if you got a trim you got a trim so i faced my fears and i got my hair trimmed by somebody new even though I was like, I was actually really nervous and I'm still like really sweating, but it turned out great. The lady was super nice. I think I'm gonna just go to her from now on. I did have a wonderful hairdresser when I lived with my parents, but unfortunately that is an hour and 45 minutes away. So that just can't make that happen just whenever. So it's really nice to have found my clothes that I can trust to cut my hair. Yeah, here it is. I've said this already, but it just feels so much better. My hair doesn't get split ends that bad, but the ends get really stringy and dry if I don't get my hair trimmed. Um, and I hadn't had my hair trimmed um, since September, and when I got it trimmed in September, I went to the girl who normally does my hair that lives near my parents. Um, so this isn't the first true trim since I got, had my hair disaster, but this is my first time with a new person since the hair disaster. And if you haven't had your hair messed up by somebody, then you just don't understand how scary it is to go somewhere and think about somebody cutting your hair again that you have no idea who they are. It's great. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and close out the vlog here. I have that birthday dinner that I told you guys about. So I'm gonna go to that and we're having Mexican, and that's gonna end out the night. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I will see you guys in my video on Thursday. If you haven't already, I have a really cute video up of Dolly and her sister. I got to keep them for 24 hours. Well, you know, I keep Dolly all the time, but I got to keep her sister for 24 hours. So if you haven't already, go watch that because they're super cute. Uh, but other than that, I will see you guys in my next video on Thursday. Bye.